Uh, so of course we are combining blockchain with a relational database and you know becomes relational blockchain. Relational databases are an old concept of how to structure the information. The data is stored in linked quote-unquote relations that we essentially know as tables. That's where the name relational comes from. Similar to Excel, there are entries in rows and columns and they have unique identifier. SQL is another term used in these reviews. It stands for Structured Query Language and it's the primary language used to manage the relational database. SQL is larger than Java, larger than C++, larger than Python, larger than PHP, uh, immensely larger than Solidity, that's not even on the top 20 list, and it's of course larger than Go, uh, Rust, whatever. This is like technology that's really used in the real world. So and we're bringing it to blockchain. That's basically some of the core ideas. Why is it a good idea for Chromia to build on the concept of relational databases? Look at the mainstream programmer. This survey I mentioned from Stack Overflow, they, they don't use Solidity like a normal application developer, but they do use databases for good reasons. So we have this untapped potential of, of new products and new people that might be attracted to, to our blockchain. Such untapped potential is only one of many arguments for the databases. Here are some technical ones, for instance. Uh, so on Chromopolis, you can make this more powerful transactions, which uh, update all accounts. Even if you have like million accounts, uh, that's not a very large amount for, for a relational database. So it's feasible to do this update um, every like once per day, let's say. That's how, how often you want to clear, I guess. And uh, also, in, let's say in game world, uh, you can update like all units in, in this game world to basically update their state. And you want to do this periodically, like each uh, some minutes or hours. Uh, that's also feasible in Chromopolis. So great for blockchain based games. How about, for instance, exchange on Chromia? Think about an exchange, order matching, things like that. It's perfect for uh, these kind of use cases. Are the relational databases used widely today or used at all? Basically, everywhere you look in an enterprise, if you, you have an application, you think that it's made in Java, but that's only half of the truth. Uh, it's also made in almost all times a relational database. If you look at the core banking applications, if it's not on COBOL or, or stuff from the 60s, then it's on a relational database. Uh, this is basically technology that is very grounded in what enterprises really have been using for the last 30, 40 years.